Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 21st, and this is World Watch. The World Watch team will take a break next week, but we'll be back on Tuesday in the new year. By now, you've been hearing, singing, and playing a lot of Christmas music. Us too. And maybe you've been pondering the words and even the history of those favorites. Well, so have we. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. The lyrics were written in 1939 by Robert L. May, a copywriter for a Chicago department store. The story of Rudolph was handed out as a free promotional pamphlet, 2.4 million of them. Then a publishing company offered to reprint the story, and it turned into a bestseller. May's brother in law, Johnny Marks, was a songwriter, and he turned Rudolph into a song that hit the top of the music charts in 1949. Apparently, May almost didn't name the red nosed reindeer Rudolph. Both Rollo and Reginald were on the list, but he thought Reginald was too sophisticated, and Rollo seemed too happy for a reindeer being called names. Speaking of which, Robert L. May was apparently made fun of a lot as a kid because he was kind of small. Rudolph, as we know from the song, was made fun of by the other reindeer because of his shiny glowing nose. But of course, Santa can't see well enough to fly because of the fog. So Rudolph saves the day and all the reindeer loved him. So although the lyrics origins are a little sad, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is a great little Christmas story that touches on a hard topic for younger people who experience bullying. Additional support comes from Heart of Dakota, providing easy to use literature-based homeschool curriculum with God's word at the heart. Get a free catalog today. Now that's fun, but we're all looking for something a little more meaningful than Rudolph and Santa, or I hope. So here's one. O Come All Ye Faithful is a classic Christmas hymn. Some of you may know its Latin title, Adeste Fidelis, or maybe even know all the words in Latin. What we sing today is a 19th century version of an 18th century song. Seven copies of the Latin manuscript were found in a college in northern France. All of the texts were signed by John Francis Wade, the man who composed and wrote the lyrics for Adeste Fidelis, between 1740 and 1743. Stanzas 1, 2, 3, and 6 were translated by Frederick Oakley, who was working alongside Cardinal John Henry Newman. The Frenchman Abbé Étienne Jean-François Baudry heard Oakley's translation and was inspired to translate the remaining verses into English. Most modern versions only have four verses, but the original had eight. The lyrics invite us to join the shepherds to go and see the newborn king of angels. The second verse paraphrases the Nicene Creed. Verse three reminds us of Luke, with the shepherds and heavenly hosts giving glory to God in the highest. And in the fourth verse, we see the word in flesh appearing, taken almost directly from the Gospel of John, where he said that the word became flesh and dwelt among us. A lot of Christmas hymns are rich in meaning, but this is one of our favorites for how much it sends us back into the word. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Nick Jensen for the entire World Watch team wishing you a Merry Christmas.